G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Mags TV and today we have a little bit more of a serious video than normal. Uh, this is something that I've only recently become aware of and I found incredibly interesting and I think you guys will as well. It's called Dig Hill 80. Now what Dig Hill 80 is is the attempt to finance the excavation of, well, Hill 80. Hill 80 was an entrenched German observation post from World War I in Belgium near the village called Whitesheet, or at least that's what the British called it. Now the position was originally captured by the Germans at the end of 1914 and was then heavily fortified and held by the Germans until finally being breached in 1917 during the Battle of Mazin. In the three years that the Germans held the position, they improved the entrenchments, the infrastructure, in a way that no other positions were due to the often quick-changing nature of defended positions in the First World War. And with German troops being stationed there for so long, they sort of made a bit of a home of it. Following the end of the war, the position was pretty much forgotten. It filled back with soil and remained pretty much untouched, with very little agricultural activity taking place in or around the site in the years since. Now the site was rediscovered in 2015 after a housing project planning to extend a housing estate into the area performed a testing of the location as per Belgium law. A couple of test trenches were dug and what they found was that the site had been pretty much undisturbed since the war and was extremely well preserved. So preserved in fact that among the artifacts that were found were also the remains of both British and German soldiers. Now what's more interesting about this particular site is that it was a German position. Most of the positions and trenches that have been documented in that region are allied trenches and few match the quality of this particular site. Now under Belgium law a certain amount of archaeological excavation has to be done on the site in order to preserve it before any commercial projects can take place there. However the cost of the dig was more than the construction groups planning the housing project were ready to spend and they have to fund it. So the site has been sitting covered and untouched since 2015. Well, this brings us to Dig Hill 80. The original archaeological team that performed the test dig was excited by the find and realised that it may be possible for them to crowdfund an independent excavation of their own. However, unlike the minimum required excavation that would have been performed by the construction groups, this would be a full-size complete dig of the Hill 80 archaeological site. So at the moment, the team is attempting to raise around 220,000 Australian dollars or around 165,000 US dollars for the dig. At the time of this video, they have seven days left to go and are at about 50% of that. Their plan is to do the dig over the course of most of a year with plans to have a presentation of the site ready by November 11th, 2018, which is the 100th anniversary of Armistice Day. Now I've made a donation for this already as I feel this is a fantastic cause and I know that Ian over at the Forgotten Weapons channel and Bismarck over at Military Aviation History channel have also both done videos and pledged for this dig. Now it's an all or nothing Kickstarter which is to say if they do not hit their goal, nobody will be charged for their pledges. I'm really hoping they do hit their goal however and I'm hoping some of my fellow history lovers here will also have some interest in this as well. Links to the Dig80 website and the Kickstarter page are in the video description down below if you want to help out. And until next time guys, thank you very much for watching and take care.